for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer channel. My name is Anyanam, and if this is your first time, please subscribe and also share the link of all the videos you watch on our channel. This week on the Ghanaian Farmer, we are still in the eastern region and still with Nana and she chatting with him on the different line of agribusiness is exploring at Isoda Agri Village. So this week, when we came, we saw something novel, something interesting. Uh, snail farming is one business that a lot of people are venturing into. But the particular feed to give to the snail has also become a headache for a lot of farmers across the region. So when I came, I realized that Nana is using an interesting way to feed his snails. That way he cuts down reliance on other people to supply him with snail feed and I thought it was something that we could share with everybody. Nana, thanks for joining me once again. You're welcome. So, snail eat a lot of things. That's what I've heard. Okay. What are some of the feeds that you can mention that snail consume? Okay. You know, snails are, they are vegetarians. Right. So, they feed on a lot of um, leafy vegetables. Okay. And fruits. Okay. So, they, they, they feed on boko boko. Right. They feed on um, cocoa yam leaves, mm. cassava leaves. Mm. Um, purple leaves, mm. in fact, uh, even lettuce, okay. dandelion, okay. Uh, moringa. Okay. Uh, and then when it comes to um, this, you, you can even prepare supplements mm -hmm. and then feed your snails on. Okay. You know, they don't, it, it's based on the type of feed that you introduce them to. Uh, so for you to get, let's say, specific, let's say if you want the calcium, their shell to be more hard, mm -hmm. you have to feed them with uh, calcium supplements. Okay. Uh, or calcium feed like uh, cocoa yam leaves and then popo leaves. Mm. So, for example, if you want to um, boost their reproduction, mm -hmm. you have to feed them with a uh, lot of fruits. Reproduction as in the laying, laying of eggs. Uh, laying okay. of eggs. Mm. So during the point of when they are, uh, they are spawn period, you have mm -hmm. to feed them with a lot of uh, very, uh, fruits mm. so that they can lay more. Mm. So in Aistara Agri Village, since we always want to cut down costs, mm -hmm. we, we do our own cultivation. We plant our vegetables and then feed. So, as I said, we grow a lot of vegetables to feed our snails without buying from the market. Okay. Sometimes we do buy from market, but you know, because of this uh, treatment and then um, uh, application of chemicals, it may sometimes affect the snails if the snails, if maybe the feed is being uh, infected with, let's say, some um, pesticide. pesticide. Right. So we prefer growing our own vegetables to feed our to feed them. Okay, so when I entered, what caught my eye was the array or the lineup of, you know, fresh lettuce that you're producing. Yeah. So let's look at um, what you have in here. Okay, we prepare a medium before we use, we, 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 we grow our... What do you use in preparing a medium? What okay. or what? So we use um, normal soil. Uh -huh. We use the loamy soil, uh -huh. we use uh, cow dung or um, poultry manure uh -huh. in addition to sawdust, then we mix. Okay. So, with our own natural uh, fertilizer, uh -huh. we use um, the coconut uh, emulsifier as well, okay. and then we use the urine okay. uh, in preparing. You marry Yeah, urine. It's not just the urine, as in fresh urine. Okay. We store it for some time, then we add whatever we are supposed to add. Oh. <laughs> All right, so then you put the lettuce seeds. Yes, please. All right, so um, how long does the lettuce take to start germinating? Oh, you know, after transplanting, the, uh -huh. it depends on you, the farmer. Okay. Uh, the way you want it to be big. Okay. So at least four weeks, you're okay. ready to harvest. So do you feed them at this fresh stage or you wait for it to actually mature? Okay, we wait for it to mature, to get like how enough. Many weeks? In, Okay, let me say with this one, by the mm. next three weeks, we mm. can harvest. And then be feeding Yes, them. please. Okay, I also realized that you had actually created a hole beneath the cup. Yes. So the water can, can actually even drain. And, you know, the, the, it, it, because of the media, the media is not enough. Okay. So water, the more, if, if the water stays in it for so long, mm -hmm. you know, the roots can even die. Okay. Which can also cause necrosis, mm. uh, the death of the plant tissue. So we have to create a perfect hole so mm. that the water can be drained. Mm. Hmm. Okay, what becomes of the water? Is it good for something else or you just throw it away? No, we don't. We, we throw it in our garden. Garden? Yeah, because it's, it's full of a lie. You know the water, the color, this, is not, this wasn't the color. Okay. 
this wasn't the color. Mm. Meaning there is a process or maybe something something that going, is going on. on. Yeah, so we store the water uh -huh. and then used to uh, you know for raising a different yeah. bed yeah. or another bed for the lettuce. For the lettuce. Yes. Okay. So how long do you feed them for before you remove all of it and then replant another one? How long? I mean, I the lettuce. How long do you keep harvesting and feeding, harvesting? Oh, we harvest for? every day. Every day? Every day we harvest. That's okay. why every day we prepare, we have different beds. So as I'm talking, we mm. have a smaller ones that mm. are also coming up. Mm. So as soon as we take this one off, okay. we put, we plant another one. Okay, but what's the difference between the prepared feed versus this fresh vegetables you're giving them? Does well, it have any difference? On yeah, there the are difference. Since, you know, since they are animal, uh -huh. since they are living things, they yeah. may be affected by you know, they, be, they may be lacking some of the nutrients. Okay. That's why we prepare supplements. Okay. So either calcium supplements mm -hmm. or a, a new, like other nutrients. Mm. You know, the snails, when it comes to their, when you, you find out that your snail is forming, like mm -hmm. the color is changing. Mm. As you can see here, you can see some white, you know, this is yeah. not the color of the snail. Okay. So, meaning there is a, a discoloration, mm. meaning there is a illness. Okay. Uh -huh, or maybe some lack of either calcium or something so you have to feed them with a supplement okay R lastly before before we, we wrap up if i should come and buy snail from you yeah. to also go and continue rearing and then sell yeah does it mean i have to necessarily keep on feeding them with what you are feeding them before i came to buy okay so depending on where you, the way you want to treat your snail uh -huh. but you have to get some of the food we are giving to the snail okay before you start to introduce the ones you have mm. uh -huh. so you put small of this more of the day okay you combine okay uh -huh. all right how has this been helpful to you mm -hmm. and limiting cost when it comes to feeding snail how helpful is this you know um, though i'm a farmer mm. when things get to the market it's very expensive yeah you can buy 20 cities cabbage mm -hmm. and it will not even reach up to 100 uh, poles mm. so but you can get um the seed of a cabbage 20 cities mm -hmm. plant it yourself and mm -hmm. feed you no know, you you get enough without yeah. wasting uh, money. Okay. Yeah. So preparing your your own feed or vegetables to feed to the feed snail, your snail. Is it's, it's very hygienic okay. and also you don't have, since you are treating it, mm -hmm. there is no way you you know how to control your exactly. pesticide and stuff. Exactly. Do you humans? Do you or people also consume the? the yeah, we can consume because it's natural, like it's organic. With the wee wee. Yeah, because. <laughs> <laughs> As for right the now, I have to be selling my wee wee to <laughs> Isaac. Uh, now, please heap your wee wee in Kufa Gallon. <laughs> so, you have Isaac, my young gallon, you know. <laughs> ne? He will call it to say, How long do you heap the wee wee for before you use it for the fertilizer? It will depend on the type of um, chemical we are using to prepare. We can use to prepare weedy side and then urea. For example, if you want to plant maize, uh -huh. you use, you prepare, after six months, you use to prepare urea. I should keep the wee-wee for six, six months. Six months. You get nice smell, you know, in your environment. <laughs> keep wee-wee for six months. Is you ready? Do you have some in stock? We don't have some now. Okay. You know what? This is just a tip. This, <laughs> this episode is just a tip. It's an eye-opener mm -hmm. for all snail farmers across Ghana and those who watch the channel. A lot of the times, farmers call me, and you know, I want snail feed to buy. And you know, mm -hmm. what do you think I can feed my snail? This is the easiest and cheapest way to feed your snail. Because right, so this is a very nice tip, a bonus for all snail farmers out there, especially those who call every now and then, and you know, I want feed for my snail. This is the easiest and cheapest way. Isaac mentioned that if you go to buy cabbage and all those things from other farms, you don't know the kind of fertilizer, you don't know the kind of chemical they have used. Even if it's from markets, you don't know where it's coming from. But this way, he prepared the medium himself and he knows the fertilizer and the, the quantity he used. So that way, if you want more meat, you know what to give your, your snail. If you want hatch shell, you know what to give. It is a bonus. Farmers should be innovative when it comes to cutting down costs but increasing productivity. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And there's more to come on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.